Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be doing a match between Kajabi versus Teachable. What do you need to know if you're comparing these two course building SaaS platforms? What's the tips and knowledge that you need to know to make the right decision, even if you should be utilising WordPress, in my opinion? Um, got some great insights and great info about this. I will be back in a few moments, folks. Back. Like I say, you're looking at both of these. You're looking at all the options, basically. You're, look, you're looking at WordPress. You should be. And you're also looking at the best SaaS products. And these are two of the leaders. Um, there's about two to three real leaders that if I wasn't looking at WordPress, I would be looking at. And these are the two of, of the leaders, basically. So we're looking at Kajabi versus Teachable. So let's run the main areas. The, the basically website builder. Thumbs up to Kajabi. You've got a lot more choice with Kajabi for a good looking website. You won't have the selection that you get with WordPress um, and you don't have the full customization, but compared to Teachable, it's the clear winner when it comes to the actual whole website, building it out. The course, course templates, the course layout, um, Kajabi again. Um, it um, offers about 10 templates, which you can customize the course grid layout, each particular lessons. Teachable isn't bad, but it only offers one template. Quizzes, they're both very similar, basically. You can do what you can do in Kajabi in um, Teachable. Um, marketing automation. Clear winner Kajabi. You can do drip marketing. You could, um, when somebody finishes a particular lesson, a particular point in the course, you could trigger off sending an a email saying, would you be interested in this other course, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to marketing automation, it is a clear winner compared to Teachable. Um, any other things, basically? Um, I would say one of the strengths of Teachable, if you are looking for a more simpler experience, you're going to get it a much better initial result with Teachable. Um, don't care what Kajabi says. It depends on your experience, your experience of building websites, digital marketing, your course basic knowledge. Um, Kajabi offers a lot more power but there's always a payoff. The more power you offer, the more complicated something normally gets. Um, the more options you offer, the more complicated it gets. And that's what you see with Kajabi. You do get a polished interface, and in some ways it's UX design is more polished and teachable. But there's a lot more going on under the hood with Kajabi. They, they have tried to make a Swiss army knife of a marketing membership platform. Um, Teachable is a much more pared down solution, but that means it's a lot more easy to get up and running in my opinion, right? Also the other main thing, price. Teachable is a lot more affordable than Kajabi. Now it, there's always, you know, you, you've got a group of people they always go with the cheapest solution. Other people want to make a valued decision. Other people always go with the most feature-rich, the most powerful platform that tends to be the most expensive. Um, Kajabi, like I say previously, is, is trying to offer a Swiss Army knife solution, everything in one area, but you pay for it. And as your course grows, it can rapidly get quite expensive. With Teachable, I wouldn't say it's cheap, um, but compared to Kajabi, it's a much more value-centered proposition. 
So there, that's the basics. Um, I've written a great post that goes into a bit more detail. I didn't want, I try and keep these videos focused and not end up them ending up because there's a kind of video version of War and Peace. But like I say, I've written a longer post. So if you want to do a butcher's and do a good read, you'll find the link in the video description underneath. If you found this video really useful, really subscribe to the channel. It really personally helps me and encourages me to make more of these videos. Got any questions, just bun them underneath the video and I will answer them. All right, I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.